it has a header file which is a uh, code.h you need a postman and you need an IDE I'll be using visual code for this uh, exercise so um, how to get started well if you have a Linux system then you can um, okay let's do something let's build it from scratch probably this more interesting although uh, it was not my idea to build it from scratch um, because of time consumption and whatever uh, we have here this is the file but we're gonna build it again so let's call it um, call API create a folder call API enter here then I will just open my terminal and type code dot this will open a Visual Studio Code I trust this guy right so we come here into um, oops anyway so I create a new file my file will be named main cpp right I think I need something like um, iostream oh sorry about that um, I need to include iostream so let's input out string I think it's called input out string b out string anyways if it's not there no problem I will start with the other library which is called uh, oops um cold and then the header cool header right uh, interesting I should I uh, I think it's I string let's check out Okay. So CPP IO stream. Uh, yes, IO stream. Uh, it's kind of strange because it's no. Okay. So we do this IO stream. The first thing we're going to be creating is um, a function, the main function, of course. And the main function, what um, this main function will do is simply call a service, and the service is this URL, right? So, what I usually do is um, to make things simple, I invoke Postman, right? There is Postman, and this is already here, but I want to show you how to make this from scratch, so I would say don't save and I will just click here and make a get request right these are the what we call the verbs so you can post put patch delete and do a variety of things with an API service and in this case we are going to use only the get request right so if I call this one it's gonna throw an error it's not gonna happen as if I call from here for the reason I just told before it requires authentication so we're going to the authentication area and this is going to use a basic oh yeah it's already um, yeah in everything from priors prior uh, calls services I if I call it again it will respond properly so once we have that once we have that we can head on to this region over here where it says code I don't know if you guys can see my mouse back here on the right hand side um, we have this thing called code we click on it and you can check out snippets you can implement this call in, <laughs> in virtually any language I'm going to choose for um, C lib curl which is compatible with C++ copy this code snippet right and I can come over here and create a function right boy main 
and do this right so far oops there you go so this is showing me uh, what I need to make a call in C well this is so far this is C the only C++ that we have so far is this library which we are not using so far so this is plain C compiled with a C++ compiler so far well once this is done you can just save it it should be I have auto saving in my uh, ADI so I don't have to worry about that just in case and I would recommend to first of all compile the code first uh, on a command line and then head on to integrate it into the IDE so what we have here is uh, the situation if I try to G plus plus uh, minus O let's say mm, <coughs> minus O is um, stand for output so what do I want to generate if your environment is Linux I mean like Windows you should call it whatever let's call it maybe call.exe but since I'm, I, I am working on Linux I don't need the extension .exe right so that's the first thing and the next thing is uh, provide the source this alone should work if we were not using libraries right but we are using here a library which needs to be linked to this um, uh, it needs to be linked in reference to this um, program right so let's just give it a try of course not gonna work but just to make sure that like, you see uh, it's giving an error so but this is not the exact error I was expecting actually when it's telling me say hey you must return an int so um, what it means is that uh, this function needs to return an int so it's telling me say this is the return type of my function and it wants me to return an int so I will return an int and integer right so let's try it again let's see if it continues complaining now it starts complaining about all the things about this undefined references meaning that it cannot find the library so imagine that the library you don't have installed the library right just imagine that so you need to head on to crowd which is the library that we are using you need to head on to the uh, official website of crowd library um, we get on here and we might have some download page right where you can see the source so just click on the source download in fact I already did so I'm not gonna do it again but just that you can see um, so we head on to wherever we um, download it and let's say yeah actually the reason why I'm making this video is because I was just fixing my screen uh, just while ago and anyways okay so you unpack this you can unpack this um, simple way to unpack this from um, from the GUI if you are like me I love working with the command line you can also tar minus x ef and then call and that will just extract and we just move into uh, the folder and you can just do configure hit enter I didn't do that because I tried it before and uh, next step will be to mic when that's con uh, command is ready and finally you mic install right if everything goes well then you just have to locate the header right it will show you where that header lives in your system and you will need to copy the full URL in the full path until the root that contains that file and uh, where are we now? Okay, 
I go back to let's go back to uh, the place where we are compiling which is not here actually so what, what we did now right but we do it right okay let's just apply this uh, we are requiring here a library right we are trying to compile with a simple command gpp providing the output file if you don't provide the output file it still will create an output file you will name it just um, a dot out something like that anyways so we tried to compile we fixed an error it was complaining in the beginning uh, about the return type of my main function we fixed that we set up a return type um, int and we are providing a int return type here at the end of the function so now we start complaining about the references to this library right this library it, it, it uh, I cannot find the library even though it is in my system I need to um, provide the uh, proper linkage uh, we went on and download the library and compiled from sources it was integrated into the system now we can use it and how to use it is the next step so I copied I if I'm not mistaken I already copied into my um, uh, clipboard the full path to the library basically I have to oops something like this and I will have to use this is minus I for include right so minus O so we have G plus plus right minus O meaning which stands for output um, let's call it uh, my binary or right, let's call it API call right then we have um, the main CPP which is the source code where our code is uh, relies right then we have to include um, a path to we have to tell the system where to find that header or that library right and finally we need to um our code i think it's our code which is uh, telling also the system to link from that path uh, the library call right if i will say hey include this path search for this library l stand for library crawl so now if we hit enter this produces a api call right if i um run api call if you are on linux i mean on windows you have to double click the dot exit and click enter and if you see i can just we have here the response of this call right we didn't code this at all we just use um, we download the library uh, we connect it to a API service which requires authentication we did it here on Postman we generated code snip here and the only thing with code actually was um, now we include the library here and we create a function to contain the only thing we call was the, the function with the return type zero and we just um, paste this full um, snippet code snippet here right that's all what we did and that way we produced a application that uh, requests information from a remote server in this case some server in my local network but it could have been anything like if you look at just to give you an idea if you look like let's say mm, facebook 
for API, right? So you will see uh, probably pages API docs, I guess it's over here. Mm. I know, but there are places where you can, most of social media and big um, popular uh, platforms, they provide an API, right? And that's how you interact with APIs, right? You will need a token and there are a lot of uh, things that you can do with APIs. I just don't want to uh, waste too much time on this, but just to give you an idea, that's what you can do um, with, um, I don't know, let's say like this message. Anyways, uh, I think you got the idea what it is all about. This is, um, I think that's all for the moment. Cheers and thanks for watching.